Oh, hi there, Timozone. Last time on Housework Simulator 2015. Okay, here's what you're gonna do today, Ganju. You clean the rooms, Ray, you get the hallway and the yard. Okay, yes, ma'am. Kogahiko, you got the kitchen. Shirogiko, uh, Shiroganhiko. Fucking Japanese names I can't pronounce! Sorry, that, that was uncalled for. I still can't pronounce them, though. Koganehiko, you get the kitchen. Shiroganehiko, laundry. Leave it to us. Wait, when did those guys even get here? Huh? What about Shio? I told her to be a good girl and go play outside. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, okay. Because whenever she tries to do housework, she screws everything up. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Kukaku, come quick. <laughs> Shio, go play outside. Okay! Burns down the entire fucking Rukongai district. Why? Oh god, what'd you do? What'd you do this time? You'd really better come quick. Tell me what you did. You really had better come quick, Kukaku. Some hollows appeared out of nowhere and Jidenbo is trying to hold them off all by himself. What? Come on, you guys, let's get going, guys. That's not how she would sound ever. Right behind you, sis. Yes, ma'am. Ah, I'm so relieved it wasn't Shio's fault this time, though. I mean... Ah, ah, shoot. It's just the two of us. It's a good thing we recruited like 50 other teammates except Koma, Komakura, dog boy guy. Honestly, what is his name again? Uh... Kero Tritons? Captain Komamura. I am terribly sorry that I don't have, like, the naming down perfect. What did I just do? Yeah, see, Kira's already OP as all hell. Add hold to attack. Hold two, meaning, like, 25% chance for it to occur. Meaning, don't F with Kira and his very balanced stats. He will probably... God damn it! Get me out of here! Oh. Derp. Um... Finish. Derp. Alright, so... For this level, um... Kukaku is locked in, but the good thing is, you are also locked in. Also, you can level up her, so, um, let's make it so, uh, mobility plus one would be, I mean, I'm not really gonna ever use her much, actually, I've never actually used her in any file, so I might actually use her. Yeah, what? Oh, right, right, I keep getting it mixed up, but with the point, the cost being the points I actually have, that's not how it is. I, I just never look at the points. Definitely using Soy Fawn because god damn it, why not? I would use Kira, but he's pretty easy to use and basically overpowered as all hell. Like, he hits them, runs away, long rangers, fire the arrows! Well, they don't have arrows in this game, but I mean, they got Uryu, so. He's just very helpful, what with. Like, no one runs away from Kira. He just hits you and you suddenly stop moving. He's. Honestly, he could have probably become captain or something if he had a little more confidence. Now, as for our healer, we can use uh, Unohana or Hanataro. This is basically just coming down to stats, so she's got a little more SP, and by a little, I mean a frigging lot ten. But we're gonna look at the listed stats to see what she can later on become and whatnot. Let's see, Shakaho, increase the power of Shakaho, more powerful attacks. Powerful attack, powerful. Shikukai, Soren Sokatsui, mobility. She's like a mage that helps out. Eh. Eh. Very good for wide range healings, like, you know, heal everybody in the area. Let's see how Hanataro is. Um. No, no, I, I, sorry, I wanted to see the list. Um. He is resistant to poison. And. Increases healing ability when supporting an ad adjacent ally. Very resistant to poison. He can use some attacks. Um, uh, I actually do like Hanataro a little more than Unohana, simply for the fact that his blade is unique. His Shikai is, it turns into a tiny little, like, um, a scalpel. And anything he cuts... It doesn't actually get cut. It just gets healed and it absorbs. His blade absorbs all the damage done to that target. So, basically, super awesome technique that I want to, you know, show off. Other than that, there's not really anybody else I plan on using much. 
So it's time to level myself up. I'm pretty sure I got like a level. So yeah, I got 10 points, and we can actually boost my uh, sword. It would be... Oh, wait, I don't even have 1,000 HP. That blows. That means I got like 8% of 800. Uh, I didn't even get 8. <laughs> I didn't even get 8. Whatever. Um, I don't even know where I'm going to upgrade my weapon into, but I'm just going to upgrade it regardless. So, we can learn Shock 2. We can learn shock -a -ho. No. We can increase the power of one of the skills we already have. Um, go to X for info. I already know Sokatsui and Sai, and I can use Sai immediately after moving. So... Ooh, I'm really tempted to go for Shock too because I'm already at a decent movement rate. I can already stun upon moving. Why would I need to boost my skill any further? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Shock too. Seriously, it's gonna be very helpful, especially since if I can't stun them with a spell when they fight me, I should be able to stun them that way. So that, and you know, it reminds me of my good old Captain Suzunami. Alrighty, that out of the way, let's see who else we can level up. Actually, nobody. And go to... S no, 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 don't start. Go to select. I have to put new items in my inventory because I actually used them in the fight against Grim Joe, which was a long time ago. Let us see here. Where's that thing Shio gave me? Oh, it might be in the special category. No, 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 special category. Shio's arms. Raises max HP and SP. Hells yeah, equip that. No, I can't. Okay, whatever. Some of these are not equipable, which sucks. Whatever. Uh, Squad 5 emblem. Put in pack. I don't have enough of those. Um, raises spiritual pressure. Restores 100 SP. Let's go with some condensed pressure because we might need somebody to use a Bankai. Wait, nobody on our team can Bankai. That sucks. I'm not beginning the fight. Let me save. Again, preparation is literally half the battle. If you don't prepare, you're pretty boned in this game. So be prepared. Don't make dumb mistakes. Literally, actually, you can make as many dumb mistakes as you want. As long as you're prepared, you win the fight. So, here we go. Epic battle time, battle formation. It's Jiden Bo, the guardian of Serate. He protected from letting things get inside of Serate. These hollows won't enter no matter what. I guess I'll have to teach him the proper rules of the city. Jiden Bo, he's a giant guy. Hey, look, it's kind of Metosen. Thanks, but no thanks. What? You can't be! Cry. Suzumas. Suzumushi. Now, I have no idea what his thing did, but apparently Jiden Bo just got Jiden owned. No? Bad one? Okay, I'll work on it. This is in the name of justice. You know, I'm not even gonna ask what his definition of justice is if it implies beating the hell out of a giant guy to get inside of a town. Full of people who probably haven't committed bad things. Hold it right there. We're here to back you up, Jiden Bo. I mean, he already got beat up by Hollows. And then this guy who's pretty much captain level higher than captain level, to be honest, just used his Shikai on him. I don't think he's going to need help, because he's probably dead by now. So, you're finally here. That spiritual pressure. This is no ordinary enemy. I... The former Squad 9 captain. The one that went to Hugo Mundo. Former captain? Wait, what the fuck? Why am I fighting a captain level motherfudge? We got Soifon though. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. No worries. Reishi map indicate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love this. You know, Serate, home with all spiritual particles and whatnot. Literally lower spiritual pressure than Karatakuta Town. Enemies, let's see, uh, they're not that strong, and let's just check out what's up with this dude. Tosin, all type, very high accuracy. Um, what? SN, Benihiko, attacks all enemies in range. Power is too hard, oh shit, that's kind of scary. Bankai 1, you can use his Bankai. Homonka Black, prevents the Homonka effect from enemy attacks, meaning... He's already come here with an ability that will block out um, Soifon's insta-kill. Prevents damage from self-destruct attacks. Oh, he's a boss alright. Yeah, that sucks. Let's just quickly go over here to Soifon. She doesn't have Hamonka yet because god damn it. Damn it. It wouldn't even matter then. Okay. Leveling up Soifon's kind of difficult, but she's got a very high evasive rate. Other than Tosin, not a lot to worry about. I don't... Wait, let me check the win conditions. Because, like, is saving him vital? 
Jiren will defeat- God damn it. Alright, so best plan would be to beat the crap out of Tosin before they beat the crap out of Jidenbo, who is pretty much on his last breath. What was he's got like nearly 2,000 HP, and now he's down to one-fifth of that, so... Yep, save state. <sighs> this will be a tough one, but I probably can pull this off. So, let's try and stun what's-his-dick. Come over here, you- Oh, he's just out of range. That sucks. Alright, plan B, gonna gather me some spiritual pressure. Um, it all depends on who they attack, really. This map could be very difficult or very easy. If they go for Jinbo, goddammit. If they don't go for Jinbo, woohoo! And skills that will actually, nope, nothing. Alright, so as always, first turn, get into position, build up your spiritual pressure. Second turn, try and do some damage. And third turn, if Jinbo is still alive, you win! If he's not alive, you don't win. Soy Fawn can't use any of her skills unless she's at max spiritual pressure, by the way, which is going to take a while. And the Medic. It would be nice to rush on over to Jiden Bo and help him, but as you can see, there's about six enemies in the way, and I don't think any of them are going to let us through without a fight. So have him stay in the back lines and hope he doesn't die. That's basically all you can do. Also, Hisagumaru is his Shikai, which has a decent... Nope, it's got a freaking awful range. But he heals people, and just standing next to somebody will cause them to heal. So let's say you make a wall of units, and the enemy is not allowed to cross the wall. Have Hanataro right behind the wall. That way, the only people who can hit him are long-range attackers, and on top of that, he heals every turn. Jidenbo, please, for God's sake, do not move. We got this, buddy. Just back the hell away. And... I believe it wouldn't be bad to just skip through this battle because it will take quite a while since all the enemies are like size two or higher because they move really slowly and they're pretty fat. So I will skip to when something relevant happens in the fight and jam out to music off screen because that's what I do. Alrighty, as much as I was enjoying fighting off screen and all that stuff, the main strategy is the Hollows and even Tosin aren't going to move much and the Hollows will try and focus to you. So basically, divide your forces into two little sides, because Tosin's not going to do crap, so one to cover the bottom side of the hollows, one to cover the top side of the hollows, and you'll be fine. After a few turns, Tosin's going to try and go for Jidenbo, which is, you know, okay, whatever. Try and stop him, because as soon as Jidenbo dies, the game will say, you lost this level. So, yeah, I cast Sai on him, and it uh, slowed him for a little bit, but now we're fighting him. And then some plotting happened. Anyways, the past means nothing. I must only continue to thread forward. Oh, what? Oh, to tread to, ah, tread the path toward the just and righteous future. And so you think this fight is just? It doesn't matter whether or not you understand. Tosin Kaname is full of bullshit in that I have no idea how he can justify any of this, so we're gonna fight him. Thank God I have a high vi Oh, shit. Well, that... Could have gone better, seeing as how he just outdamaged me, and yeah. But we have backup in the form of Soifon, literally right here. Time to kick some ass with one of our amazing skills, such as Shunko and Niga Kusemiya. Applies Hamonka. Oh, she does have Hamonka. Well, sucks. He's immune to it, so we're just gonna fight him head on. Apply directly where you want it to hurt. But actually, no, it's not smart to attack from the side. See, the best part is, you can attack from, like, diagonally, and you'll get the bonus from being next to somebody. So her accuracy goes up. Alrighty. Now, while you're fighting Tosin, do take note that he can apply a status ability to you, I think. I think it's, like, called blind or something. I don't actually remember. But, yeah. Also, Soifon should be an even match for him. Especially more so now that she's standing next to you and getting the evasiveness and accuracy boost. Or not, because Tosin hurts. Yep, that was fairly fair on the fair trade to fair. Oh, yeah, and I effed up, because these hollows down here, they had, well, there were three, but now there's one, because, you know, Kukaku punched one and broke its nose, and then the other two just died. <laughs> yeah, they can cast Sai, so they used it on Hanataro, which is very smart! They stunned our healer, so, you know, the medic is out of commission for, like, one more turn. Very helpful. See, I could have cleared. I've cleared the path actually. We could have gotten Jeet and Bo healed up and all that good stuff, but now we can't. But thankfully, I also used Sai on Tosin, which is hard. How would you, you know, he's he's captain level. I shouldn't be able to hold him with my um. Oh God, I have to. Uh, I have to. I have to change my co-ops. That's very depressing to look at. 
I shouldn't be able to hold him down with my keto, but apparently I can. And, you know, being a badass as she is, Kukaku's just gonna lay this, you know, ever-loving... Ah, beat the crap out of these peoples. Ah, oh, the strategy talk. I really just... I don't know, it feels like it's common sense, but then I never use strategy, ever. And I never think of it as common sense, so... It can't be common sense, because I'm not smart, and if I think of it, that means... Wait, no, then that should be common sense, because if I'm not smart and I think of it, whatever. Reishi map, whatever. Uh, not a lot to do, especially since the medic units in the game, they can't heal themselves. Dun dun dun. So please don't get your medic killed, because if you do, you're pretty boned. Literally, he's been healing everybody this match. Even if not with skill, just having him next to somebody heals a lot. And, as you can see, Tosin can do a lot of damage since this is 2 on 1 and he's going pretty fair. Despite the fact that he's stunned, unable to move, and at half HP, I'd say he's still doing pretty good. System, and end turn. Because I just don't want to do standby on uh, Hanataro. There's no, you know, difference to going to system stun, or system standby, or uh, end turn. Yeah, whatever. That hollow up there just does not like moving or something. I'm not sure what is uh, wrong with that. I would focus it for some experience, but uh, Tosin, you know, the moment he one-shots Jidenbo is the level over, so I don't want that happening. So if you're playing on the Matsuri side, because I know Matsuri doesn't exactly get a lot of stuns, I would actually advise using Kira, because if he hits a few times, he'll actually uh, stun Tosin. Or you could use... Uh, nope, that's pretty much it. Kira is like the earliest stunner you'll get. And uh, stunning, very helpful in the game, because it can help protect goals that need to not die. Example, Jidenbo over there with his big being Jidenbo like. And you know what? I actually haven't checked out his stats. This will be pretty interesting. Let's say here, he's got a massive amount of attack, the accuracy of a blind mole. Well, moles are already blind, so you know what? Never mind. He has no accuracy, so that sucks. And he can't provide or receive support. I really have no idea why he's, you know, never mind. He's just a giant tank, and I guess that's his, that's his way of life, his ninja way. I still don't have enough SP for, like, anything beyond Psy, so we're just gonna fight him head-on, normally, nothing new, just, you know, fight Tosin till it works, and I would cut, oh crap, I forgot that my medic's not near me, so he might actually kick my ass right here. Or if I can get him under 200, um, nope, never mind. Yep, he's gonna kick my ass. I was gonna say, if I could get him under 200, I could probably finish him off next turn with Soifon. That's definitely not happening for another turn or two, so that blows, because Tosin being captain level has decent stats everywhere. Though, to be fair, his stats and attack are pretty crap, so I'm not even sure how he's hitting me that hard. But it's not that he's hitting me that hard, it's just he's hitting. He got the accuracy, even though my evasiveness is higher, so whatever. Let's try and get some heavy damage off with a Shunko. So, one, two... Oh, wow, she can Shunko a lot. And Shunko is amazingly powerful. Like, if you... That did nothing. Wow. If you Shunko through one of these big guys, like, you know, you're going to hit them multiple times. You're going to hit them once, twice, three... Yeah, you can at most get three times, maybe. Or four times going one, two, three, four... Fudge, I don't know. How did that get him down to... Oh, okay, whatever. He'll die next turn, and you can move now. Good. Go heal our little friend over here. Nope, she don't need the healings. All right, quickly run to Jidenbo. Uh, it could be a big mistake on my part that I'm forgetting that, you know, maybe Tosin can move now, but I kind of don't think he can. I, I mean, I could easily just hover over him and check, but where's the fun in that? And also, I want to just finish off these hollows on the side. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use Kukaku, because I actually haven't used her ever in... ever. But I kind of want to save enough room for the main cast of Bleach, because those characters are just so OP and fun to play as, so... Very, very, very difficult decisions here. Still, if, um, Kaname can move, Jidenbo is probably going to die, because that's how Jidenbo rolls on the ground, bleeding. Oh, what are you going to do, you little giant hodl, you... Nothing, actually. Oh, it's kind of a letdown. I guess we'll skip on over. Actually, no, I, I would skip again, but uh, pretty much over in this turn, because Kaname's at 199 HP, and there's three units around him. Granted, one of them is a medic. What the hell was that noise? I haven't heard that in a while. That was like an elephant on steroids. 
with a bear making love. That was inappropriate. Oh, shit! Or not, or not. He's gonna attack me and die because I can do 200 damage. I can easily do 200 damage. I hope. I really hope. You missed! With your high as all hell accuracy, you still missed. Good job. 200 damage. Nope. Barely 100. I think I might just give this kill to... Soifon? Actually, no, because if she already has her Homunka unlocked, it doesn't matter. But hey! Oh, wow, she has a very low um stat when it comes to SP, but maybe... Shunko doesn't cost SP at all? Or maybe it cost a very low amount of it. Okay, it cost five, so one, two, three, four, and out. Because if you, you can't end Shunko inside of something, but this is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, I'd say that was a very good chunk of HP damage, seeing as how that thing's half dead. If had I the energy for it, I would have probably finished it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Doesn't Shunko just use as much SP you have on you at the time. I think that's how it goes. Anyways, Hanataro, get your butt over here and heal Jiden. But oh, you can't. Okay, heal me then. I'll I'll heal Jiden Bo definitely. And by heal Jiden Bo, I mean beat the crap out of Kos Kosen Kosen Kaname Tosen, also known as Kosen, because I can't remember names. Well, his pressure's maxed out. Wonder what that means. Hint, hint, hint. Ah, damn it! I can't finish him off. So, when in doubt, nope, don't got the energy for that either. Alright, when in doubt, use one of the giant fireballs that you'll probably actually forget. Oh, god damn it. Do I actually? No, I don't. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna hope I can hit and not F this up. God, please, just 100 damage would be nice. Please. Yes! I shocked him! Granted, I did zero damage, really. Okay, I did 41 damage. But I shocked him. That means he's not gonna be... What? Really? When he gets shocked, he actually hits me and all that stuff, but when he's not shocked, he doesn't? Oh, joy. I think I just lost the game level because, uh... Shocked or not, Jiden Bo is probably gonna be Jiden Boned. Huh? Get it? Jiden... Jiden Bone... Jiden Bo... No? Okay, whatever. Uh, back to this this power struggle between a hollow and a giant lady person. I mean, she's not giant, but she's pretty tall, taller than uh, your main character. This might actually finish it off. Yeah, that's a finisher. If if it takes that long, it's probably a finisher. Sweet, she might level up too. She just took down what four giant hollows. Granted, they're not giant. Actually, yeah, they are giant hollows because the other type of hollows are called Menos Grande, so that's like an entirely different class. Jidenbo, please move away. Don't attack, don't fight. Because if you do, you're probably dead. Enemy's turn is around. Now, if everything goes accordingly, Tosin will not kill Jidenbo. And why did that thing attack Swift? I mean, never mind. Hollows are not known for being the smartest cookies in the jar. Most likely the more desperate, instinctually driven cookies, which also eat people. Like the reverse cookies. Yeah, that's a little more accurate. Oh sweet, she can probably finish him off next turn since she does more damage than HP left. So that's a level up, unless Kosen, uh, Kosen, god, I gotta stop calling him that, unless he does something stupid like this. Oh my goodness, would you look at the stupid on this guy. Oh, uh, at least I got a level up. I mean, it would be very unfortunate if I did not do enough damage to finish him off right now. But I doubt that's gonna be the case, seeing as how, you know, Ah, oh, fuck, it's gonna be the case. I'm not gonna be able to finish him off, am I? Or that. Apparently... What? I've been fighting him for like seven turns now. Not once was I able to use my Shikai release. And now I could... Whatever. Time's up. What do you mean? Guys, he's like Captain Plus level. I really don't think he was going, you know, all out against us. He was pretty much holding back. Just let me say that I did not come here to chit chat. Goodbye. I have no idea what he came here to do, but apparently it was just to chit chat, because that kind of battle was a chit chat for him. Oh, level lapse, wait. One more of those, and I believe I can, uh, 
Learn Shock 3, which is... I guess Shock came in handy. I'm not entirely sure if it did. Yeah, EXP po- Ooh, ooh, this might be- Oh. Eh. Eight's better than one. Affinity goes up with everybody, so team attack time, guys. Now, I'm not sure if the healing unit Unahana's little, uh, Hanataro guy can do team attacks, so I don't know why Affinity is a thing for him. Hey, look, it's the plot! I found it! I could never say that if this was that Pokemon Snakewood game. Thanks, Kakaku, you really saved my hide. No need to thank me. What are we friends? What are friends for? Oh, they're friends. I didn't know that. I wonder what that attack was all about. How the hell should I know? All right, of course, all right. But one thing we found out for sure: those halls are being ordered around by Eisen. Huh? What could Lieutenant Eisen be planning? I wonder. Oh God, the nose! I'm not Ganju. Do I look like Ganju? You idiot! The past is in the past. You gotta let it go. Aizen's the enemy now. What do you want? What do you mean by calling him Lieutenant? Right? Call him Aizen. Demon Aizen works just fine too. <laughs> Broken nose. Help! God damn it! Not helping! I would have two broken noses, but I only have one. Don't repeat yourself. Sorry. I need to go visit. Uh, Lieutenant Aizen really isn't the enemy. Really is the enemy now, isn't he? Yeah, and we don't even get to talk to him, and he doesn't even explain his motives to us, even though we were in his squad, but I guess he doesn't care. <sighs> Lord Eisen, I've brought your guests. Well, I don't want to know who the guests are. Until next time, so question of the day is, what do you think of Jiden Boned? <laughs> it's not that funny, is it? Jiden Bo, what do you think of him? He's giant, he's got literally no skills, equipped, equipped at this time, massive attack, Ginormous HP. You guys thought that dude with like a thousand HP had a lot of HP? This guy's got two thousand HP! But he's got no accuracy. Like, the chances of him hitting something are pretty minuscule. So, that about wraps up for today. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you already haven't, and answer the question of the day. 